So I'm going to start off with a prayer. It's about how to pray. Um, Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to be here this morning. We just pray that you guide us and hold our steps today. And I just pray that you cover us and be with us. Okay. Now I'm going to ask somebody else to pray for us. God, thank you so much that we get to learn about you in class today and you're the community that we know how all around us. Help our days to be good and anything we're going through in our lives. Um, help us with that. We love you so much. So, um, the reason I picked this topic is because a lot of times we are, um, asked to pray in public and as Christians we'd be like no I don't feel comfortable praying we should always feel comfortable praying because we are called to pray so um, first to start off prayer is the essence of prayer is a conversational communication with God God is not a genie prayer is a two-way conversation oftentimes we think that God doesn't respond to us so he doesn't speak to us but he speaks to us in like many different ways it could be physically or verbally but we still hear him. Um, there are 11 different types of prayers. There's praise and thanksgiving, there's worship, petition, intercession, supplication, command, dedication, persistence, blessing, and praying in faith, and also cursing. So, um, there's a few don'ts about prayer. Um, we shouldn't be bounded by a, a specific posture. Um, we don't have to speak in old English or impressive language to God. Um, and we shouldn't use vain repetition like it says in Matthew 6 and 5. So in Luke 11, the disciples ask God, how do we pray? So teach us how to pray. And the prayer that he gave us was the Lord's Prayer. Um, now, Jesus didn't specifically say that, repeat after me. So, the Lord's Prayer is something that we should repeat and we should memorize, but it's not something that we should pray each and every day, every second of the day. So, what he meant by the Lord's Prayer, well, I'll read it first. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, your will be done, as earth on earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of forever. Amen. So this is how he wanted us to pray. Um, the first part, our Father in heaven, hallowed be, be your name. It was like when you first start praying, you have to give God acknowledgement. You have to tell him, like, thank you, Lord, or praise him first, and then get into your the body of your prayer. Um, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Come to God with reverent submission and humble yourself. So saying that your will be done is giving it to God. Um, come to God believing that he is a provider. So you're saying, give us this day our daily bread. That's when you're asking God, provide me with whatever it is that I need, like the strength that I need to get through this day. Um, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Um, that's forgiveness and that's repentance. So every prayer that we say we should repent. We might not think that we've done anything wrong throughout the day, but God sees everything and he might see like one little slick comment that we might say to one of our friends. We might have said it jokingly, but it could have been something that God does not approve of. So just be like, Lord, forgive me for what I said today, the things that didn't please you. Um, and the last part, and do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forevermore. And that's just having faith. Having faith that God will guide you through your day, that God is there and that he is listening to you. So some helpful tips in having a prayer life. When you go to pray, find a quiet place. Um, set um, something that leaders have taught me was that 
set a designated place, like a specific place that you go every single day at the same time. So if you're going to pray at 6 p.m., because that's the only free time that you have, go there every single day and God will be there. Um, you don't have to know what to say. You don't need to have an agenda when you pray. Um, keep in mind that this is your time to talk to God. We call him our friend, but we don't treat him like one. So if you don't know what to say, open up your Bible, your Bible, and recite a song that's a prayer. That's it. Thank you.